Welcome back friends. In today's class, we'll talk about the time period for a spring mass system. We will try to draw a drive a mathematical model for a time period of a spring mass system. So a spring mass system has a to and fro motion. So from here, it moves to this end, this extreme end, and then it moves back to this end. And then from here, it comes back to this point. So if I'm, I'm going to start observing the motion from this end, and then when the spring mass system, the mass reaches to this end, that will complete one cycle for me. Now I wanted to generate a formula for that. So what I'll do is I'll try and compare this uh, motion of the spring mass system with the string mass system. So there's a string, uh, string here and there's a mass associated with this, which I'm trying to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. So if I try to rotate it and then the time the amount of time taken by this string mass system starting from here and completing one cycle will be equal to the time taken by this spring mass system starting from here to go to this extreme point and then come back to its initial position that's what we have to make sure that both are equal only then we'll be able to compare a linear motion with the rotary motion so this moves in this direction. This diagram B shows that when the location is of the string mass system is up this point, this is the location of the spring mass system. And then this is the third location, which is the equilibrium position for the spring mass system. And then it's moving towards the compression and this is the extreme point of the compression. And then it starts moving in the opposite direction. So this is a half cycle starting from here, reaches up to this point. This is a half cycle and then this is the second half of the complete cycle. Uh, so now we can, as we've already said that the time taken by the spring mass system is same as the string mass system. So time, time taken by the string mass system is equal to 2 pi r upon v. And from where we generated the formula, we I'm going to quickly recap it. V velocity equal to 2 pi r upon, uh, upon t, which is equal to if, I, if we recall the formula, basic formula, delta d upon delta t velocity formula. And in, in the circular direction, velocity is written in this form. From there, we generated the this time period formula for the st string mass system. Now, we because both this value, this time period and this time period are same. Time taken by string mass system is same as the time taken by the spring mass system. So, time period value will be equal to time period equal to uh, 2 pi r upon v now if somehow i can find the value of velocity i'll feed in the value here i'll be able to find the time period so ta velocity value we know that is equal to velocity of this spring mass system is i'll change the color velocity is equal to uh, k upon m square root and then there is a outside and a just represents the maximum displacement and so i can replace it v equal to in this case a this is the a so velocity equal to a square root of k upon m so i was thinking of replacing it with x but we don't need to replace it with x we can see by this diagram that a is equal to r a is equal to r uh, so time period i'm gonna go back here time period equal to 2 pi and velocity formula is this 2 pi 2 pi r r upon a and then times square root of k upon m because a and r are same a is equal to r i can cancel these two terms and the time period formula will be 2 pi square root of m upon k i'm going to bring it on top and these terms will flip their position so this is the formula for finding out the time taken by the spring mass system to complete one cycle so now we will try and find the time period for the pendulum means the time taken by a pendulum to cover one cycle we will try to generate the mathematical model for that so time period we if we can recall the pendulum so this is a pendulum here and this was the restoring force fr and this is actually represented like this the fg was acting in the downward direction and then this was fr this is just a collinear property of the vector i can show it here or i can show it 
on this side this is not fg this is fr and fr in terms of fg was fr is equal to fg sine theta and if i try to draw the model for this one if this is a length and then this this displacement this maximum displacement becomes i'm going to call this displacement as x so fg is equal to mg sine theta equal to x upon l if this is the theta angle so fr equal to this value now we figured out uh, this value what we gonna do is we will put this uh, we will try and compare it uh, with with the uh, restoring force which is equal to kx which is equal to mg x upon l now xx cancels out k equal to mg divided by l now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the formula which we previously generated for the time period of a spring mass system and we'll try to find out the time period for the pendulum so time period is equal to 2 pi square root of m upon k that's what we said and now we already have the k value and if i wanted to find the time period which is equal to 2 pi square root of m upon mg divided by l and the which goes on top m and m cancels out time period equal to 2 pi square root of l upon g so that will be the time taken that's how we can find the time of oscillation of the pendulum uh, so one of the interesting fact about this formula the time period of a pendulum does not depend the mass of this bob Remember this thing. There is no mass in this formula So time period of a pendulum if the mass of the bob is not given to you You don't need it. It does not depend upon the mass. So this is a really good question as a For the for your multiple choice question preparation also so hopefully you were able to understand how we can drive the formulas for the time period of the pendulum and the time period of the spring mass system i'll see you in another video bye now